So what we have here is a DC motor speed controller and this particular one is the first one that we purchased and worked perfectly well and we've got we've got these speed controllers to control these DC motors. Now what we did after that is order another three for some projects that we were looking at doing and we ran into problems with those three. So as you can see here we've basically um, pulled down one of the units that wasn't working. Um, we went through a basic process. Um, we tested the uh, potentiometers to make sure that they were okay. We tested the switches to make sure that they were okay. And then we went through and tested the output stages of the controller and we found that there was nothing obvious and nothing wrong with those items so then we proceeded into the board itself now with the larger ICs that we have here um, we had two by N channel MOSFETs which are these two items here and we had one Schottky barrier diode which is that item there. Now we set up test procedures for these as you can see here this is for the MOSFET and that's for the Schottky barrier diode and we use that as a, um, a load testing to make sure that they are okay um, and that turned out fine. The next step of the process was to check the boards. Now these are right double sided boards and they have um, throughput connections so we had to go through and check all those to make sure that we didn't have any um, breakdown there. And that proved all right. Next part I did was to compare the boards. So this is the good one, the supplied board, the original one, and this is the faulty board here. And then we started to notice differences. Well, this section here on the board is missing on this one. Um, there's lower sections here on the board which are missing on this one and there's a whole section in here on the board which is missing on this one so that led to well there may changes to the boards um, not that that's a good or bad thing but then I started looking at the components so as we were looking through the board we started noticing that there were d differences in the component values um, these surface mount resistors here um, were correct but these two weren't. Um, these were 1k and the working board was only 10 ohms. So then we started looking at the bottom part of the board here and we noticed that this particular resistor here or surface mount resistor um, was valued at 4.7k and on the working board it should have been 3.3k. So what we found in this area is that there were um, one, two, three, four, four 10k resistors missing. So moving on from this side where we found all those missing 10k resistors, um, we started checking all the other components on the board and they all checked out okay. Um, we also went through and made sure that um, all the printer circuit board paths were correct. So the first thing we're going to do is um, remove this resistor and this resistor and these two down the bottom here because they're supposed to be reversed. The ones that are down here should be up there and vice versa. So what I'm doing here is just using a air heat gun um, just to remove these resistors from the areas and once we get that done then we'll, we'll swap them over and resold them back up again. That one's off and that one's off. We um, replaced these two resistors um, with those two resistors 
Now I think I said before that um, it was 10 ohms and 1k, it's actually 10 ohms and 100 ohms, but they've been re swapped over to where they should be. Um, the next one we're going to replace out is this one here, that's an incorrect value, that's 4.7k, it should be 3.3k. So what we're going to do is just run through the resistors that we put on the board. Um, this is the 3.3 and as you can see there we're getting 3.28. Next time we're just going to check the 10 ohms to make sure that they're uh, soldered properly. And we're getting 10.8 there. And we're getting 10.7 there. So we're just going to check the 100 ohms that we desoldered and solder back on again. You can see there we're getting 100 ohms there. And hopefully we've got 100 ohms there. So they're all good. So the next ones we're going to put on are the 10k ohms down here. Well, we finally got the circuit board put back together again. We put all the main components in, the MOSFETs and the Schottky diode. Um, what we're going to do now is just run a test. Um, we've got this set on right 15 volts and we've got it wired up to a test mode that we use. And we also can measure the reps per minute with references set up. So what we'll do is uh, switch the circuit on, so we'll prove that the switch works. As you can see, the LEDs light up, so we've got power. The potentiometer um, is what controls the pulse width modulation. And as you can see here, we're at 143, 500 revs per minute. And this is your percentage of pulse width modulation that's going up there. And starting to take off. We're at 66 percent pulse width modulation at 3,000 revs to 15 volts. I can max this out. So four and a half thousand revs and 98 pulse width modulation. Start to get a fair bit of vibration as you can see, but we fixed it. Well, we finally got all six completed. This is the last one of the series, and as you can see now, we can switch them on, switch them off. So the, oh, the on-off switch works. Um, if we adjust the potentiometer, you can see that the motor is slowly turning. That's only on uh, 0.12 pulse width modulation and rest minute is 517 take it up to about 20 res and 960 and you've got good torque take it up to 30 1800 you've really got to press hard on the wheel to slow it down a really good fine control. It's taken up to 2,600 revs per minute. It's starting to get a bit of vibration because this wheel's out, out of its alignment a little bit. Fifty percent. There's my wrist for you. Get the three and a half. 
we can't go higher, but we're just going to go into more vibration. Turn it down. Switch it off. And it's all working. So we've got all six working. Um, and we had to replace all those um, surface mount right resistors, which we outlined in the process. And now we've got six working units.